Hey students, um, just wanted to read through this uh, PDF, the Stamp Act reading. It's called, Hey King, get off our backs. These are a combination of letters received from Boston in New England. There is an account of a dangerous mob which arose in the middle of August on account of the stamp duty or act and did considerable mischief. But on the 16th of August, they were more violent than before, which continued till Sunday, the 1st of September, by which time the magistrate or the magistrate, right, the local government, tell us over here, has raised and armed 500 men and committed several of the rioters to go, uh, jail, but not till they had destroyed all the goods and papers of the comptroller, he's the public official. Judge of the Admiralty discovered of the stamp, as well as every individual article in the house of the Lieutenant Governor, even to the uncovering his house, bringing all his books and papers, carrying off even his clothes, as well as those of his sister and daughter, putting them uh, by way of a masquerade, taking 900, uh, Sterling in cash, scarce leaving him any more than the shirt he had on. This next one is from November of 1765. The stamp duty is so repugnant, repulsive over here, right? To the ideas of the people of America that in most of the northern colonies, they have obliged the stamp officers to resign their places when the stamp papers arrived in Philadelphia, the vessels in the harbor hoisted their colors half mast high, the bells rung, being muffled, and every countenance betrayed dejection. Finally, they obliged the stamp distributor to promise not to exercise his office, and the stamp papers were obliged to be taken on board uh, a man of war, which is the naval ship, to secure them from the rage of the populace, from the people. The lawyers in New Jersey have resolved not to use the stamp papers, okay? So all these people are starting to really make sure um, that the stamp collector can't do his job because they're starting to be very violent towards them, okay? And then the last one, for December of 1765, upon arrival of the stamps at New York, every sign of mourning appeared. The merchants soon after met and resolved to have more, no more goods shipped from Great Britain unless the Stamp Act was repealed. To countermand, which means to send back all orders already sent and not to vend, to sell any goods sent from Great Britain after January the first, the next, the governor having secured the stamp paper in Saint, Saint uh, excuse me, Fort George, a great assembly of persons preceded by lights went to the fort, took from the stables the governor's coach, his carriage, and with effigy they burnt. Remember that word I told you yesterday. So they made a doll that looks like the governor and they burnt him with every mark of contempt and exasperation under the guns of the fort. After this, they went to the house of Major James, a supposed a better of the stamp acts, whose goods they likewise seized and consumed. The next day they forced his excellency a declaration that he would have nothing to do with the stamps. So up here, they're, they're saying that they're not going to buy any more goods. They're not going to have any goods shipped from Great Britain, from England, unless they take away or repeal the Stamp Act. Okay, so this is the actual assignment. So after you read or listen to my video about the reading, the Stamp Act reading, 
then what you're supposed to do is mark in here if you think this would be effective and then tell me why okay so don't order any more goods from great britain or cancel existing orders do you think that would be effective or not and tell me why you think it would be effective force the stamp officer to resign is it effective or not okay and then as you go down, you're going to see that they're going to get more and more violent. Okay. They're going to burn the governors in effigy. They're going to refuse to use the stamps. They're going to riot in the streets. Okay. And then on the second page, what you're going to need to do is you're going to um, write and tell maybe you have this Aunt Martha. So you're gonna write and pretend that you're telling what happened, but you're gonna be using um, the information from the Stamp Act reading, okay? So you're gonna say, we started to burn the governor in effigy, okay? So you're gonna pretty much summarize what happened in this Stamp Act reading, but you're gonna make it look like you're writing this letter to your Aunt Martha, and if you, read this right here this blue it says you need to refer to the black stamp act reading in your letter so you have to explain to aunt martha what's going on but use the facts from this the information from this reading in there okay you will submit that today that's the assignment and then there's also a CNN 10. So between those two assignments, between those two assignments, that'll be the assignment for today and tomorrow. If you do all the assignments today, then you wouldn't have any work for tomorrow. So stamp back reading and then write that and submit it. And then also the CNN 10. It's actually the CNN 10 from Tuesday, November 17th. And then you submit that. If you get both of those done today, then you wouldn't have any work to do tomorrow.